bauxite. You know, what's going on? Oh, you can't understand me with this mask on? Me neither. I don't have to wear that because this is virtual learning. All right. Thank goodness. I feel like Deadpool or Spider-Man or something. They, you know, they are heroes and they have a serious, uh, they have a serious job. They have to wear that mask all day while running around fighting crime. All right. Today we're going to talk about a place in this little uh, place here. This, this is called Earth. Okay. I hope you know about it. Uh, and if uh, this is for the virtual learning kids and for those of you who are watching in class, Mr. Dern making you watch this right now in class, guess what? You're welcome. You're getting smarter. Okay. That's good. That's why you're here. So uh, help me find this place. It's called Australia. Okay. It's a continent slash country. And um, wait, do you see it? Can you find it? That looks familiar, actually. I see Atlanta. Okay, I see. Uh, I see the McDonald's. That messed my order up this morning. Um, that's not it. Mm -mm. No. Ah! Oh, I saw it. There it is. Okay, Australia, big continent slash country, very very southernmost co uh, continent, and uh, a lot of stuff going on today. We're going to talk about their natural resources. Okay, we're going to talk about what they have. This is a loot llama. Say hello to the loot llama. Uh, the loot llama is, you know, in Fortnite, and that's that's going to hook you up with stuff. We like stuff. We like getting stuff. Well, let's talk about what stuff they have in Australia. Our standard today, we have to describe factors that influence economic growth, and we have to look at their presence or absence in Australia. Well, the thing is about that, um, the economic growth is heavily, heavily influenced by things that fuel the economy, such as natural resources. What stuff do they have naturally in Australia? Uh, today, we're going to look at the role of natural resources in a country's economy. All right. Factors of economic growth, natural resources. This is kind of redundant. All right. Let's get no, natural resource factories of natural. All right. All right natural resources. Right, okay. I think we got it. Uh, this is going to be a real quick crash course. We're not going to spend a lot of time on this. Natural resources are the materials that come from nature, such we're talking about land, forest, minerals, water, okay, coffee, all of that stuff. They play an important role in a country's economy because they are fuel for the uh, industry and they're a source of income when exported to other countries. When we export something that we're good at making, that helps our economy, it helps other countries, and we all work together and we spread things, just, just not germs. Let's don't spread germs, okay? Arable land. One thing that they have going on in Australia right here is a lot of arable land. Okay, uh, that's valuable, valuable resources, a valuable thing. Farmers are able to grow enough crops to feed all of Australia. Wait, it's hard to do this while looking at that. They're able to feed all of Australia and have enough left to trade with other countries. That's important. You have places like North Korea where they barely make enough, if anything, for themselves. They mainly have to uh, import things. Class is not over. Don't worry. That's just a, uh, it's just a bell. Um, but they're, they're mainly able to go ahead and um, make all the food that they need to make there, which is a good thing. They're able to make that for their place, and then they have enough left over, a surplus is what that's called, to be able to trade with other countries. Um, and the land is also there to provide pasture for livestock. That's where the cows live, uh, such as cattle, sheep, uh, and they're important exports for Australia. Now, let's talk about a picture of that here, if, if you can kind of, I don't know how to block this out of here yet, because I'm not, you know, perfect at this, if you can believe it. But Australia ranks seventh in the world as far as arable farmland goes. And you can see it. Actually, I flew in an airplane one time, and I was landing in Germany. And on the way down, they had a bunch of farmland that looked just like that. It was kind of cool. It's all sectioned off. Looks like a jigsaw puzzle. They have minerals. Australia also has rich deposits of minerals. They have coal, iron, ore, copper, tin, gold, silver, uranium, nickel, tungsten, lead, zinc, diamonds, natural gas, petroleum, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. Let me stop. They don't have all that. But they do have a lot of minerals, okay? Uh, and if you don't know what those minerals look like, because for a long time, you know, there's things I've never seen. You, we, it's time to use our computers to look things up and see what they look like. Um, sales from these valuable natural resources bring money in from all around the world, okay, which is great. Here's kind of some pictures. We have some coal. We have iron. We have, um, we have if you look down here, um, we have all these other, we have diamonds, we have um, all, just all these minerals. Wait a minute. Is that? Okay, that's definitely not the kind of iron that I was talking about. Um, we have things like bauxite, okay? Uh, bauxite is something that, at first I was like, what is bauxite? That's why I said at the beginning of class. I said, hey, computer, tell me how to say bauxite. Bauxite. Say it one more time. I'm bauxite. Okay, bauxite. Say it with me. 
bauxite okay. okay bauxite is something that we have to use to get aluminum aluminum is the thing that mr duran used to think was cool to try to make a bootleg homemade grill okay let's do let's let's have more of this i thought grills look really cool because i've always been into hip-hop culture so when i was a younger man i thought yeah that's cool i'll make my own grill okay then i look like this Let's don't do this. Let's do this. Okay, a little bit more of that. But anyway, that's the natural resources that they have going down in the land down under, okay, in Australia. And uh, that's pretty much it for today.